Diving into the Rolex market is like joining an exclusive club where the secret handshake is knowing your reference numbers. These models don't just follow market trends, they often write their own rules, making them the rebels of the investment world. Rolex watches have moved beyond mere timekeeping. They are symbols of prestige and shrewd investment choices. Thanks to their scarcity, they're as elusive as a good parking spot on a busy Saturday. So why do their resale values keep ticking upwards? It's not merely about keeping time, it's about keeping a legacy on your wrist. Owning a Rolex isn't just about luxury, it's a financial flex that keeps on giving, proving that sometimes the best stocks are the ones you can wear. Welcome to Opulent Oasis, where today we're diving deep into the quirky world of Rolex resale values. We're focusing on those models that have recently taken a nosedive in the market. Perfect intel whether you're a die-hard collector or just flirting with the idea of your first Rolex. Haven't hit subscribe yet? Now's the time to join us for all the insider scoop on luxury watches. Let's slice through the latest happenings at Rolex. The brand has been busy, launching new models and retiring some old timers, causing a stir in their price tags. A quick rewind shows us that as the demand outpaced supply, Rolex prices soared higher than a kite on a windy day. Meanwhile, retail prices at authorized dealers have been creeping up, inching closer to those sky-high market prices. Today's landscape, it's a mixed bag. Those glitzy gold pieces are suddenly looking like bargain bin finds, and the steel and gold models are being picked up for less than their sticker prices. Yet the steel professional models still pull prices higher than Snoop Dogg at a music festival, though they've steadied recently. The market's calm with just a hint of fluctuation, enough to keep deal hunters on their toes. Now let's zoom in on some Rolex models that are feeling a bit blue, seeing their sparkle tarnish in the resale market. Number 1. Rolex GMT Master 2. Let's dive into the Rolex GMT Root Beer model first. If you're not a fan of the typical waiting game, good news. This one's selling for just a smidge over its $14,300 list price. It's like snagging the last slice of pizza before anyone else notices it's there. Next up is the Guinness model, blending steel and yellow gold with a classy black and gray bezel. It's fetching about $15,500, just a notch above its $14,600 sticker price. This watch has slipped past newer models in the popularity contest, proving it's not just another pretty face in the crowd. On to the Sprite and Pepsi models, previously as hard to find as a quiet spot in a library during finals. They're still rolling off the production line, which means more are hitting the market and prices are dipping by $1,000 to $2,000. The Sprite in particular seems to get passed around collector circles more than a hot rumor, while the Pepsi sits pretty, often collected, but seldom worn. Don't forget the Batman and Batgirl, stalwarts of the GMT lineup, with prices holding steady between $13,000 and $14,400, these models continue to fly off the shelves, proving that everyone loves a hero, or heroine, in steel. Capping off our Rolex exploration is the Bruce Wayne of the bunch, the steel GMT Master II, also known as the Full Black Bezel GMT 116710LN model. Running from 2007 to 2019, this classic is now a catch at around $12,700. It's perfect for those stepping into the Rolex world, blending historical cool with a price that won't make your wallet weep. Number 2. Rolex Daytona. Let's shift into the fast lane with the Rolex Daytona, particularly the steel 126 reference models that are revving up the market. The white dial is hitting the track at around $36,250, outpacing its black-dialed sibling, priced at a slightly more down-to-earth $31,250. Seems like the white dials are playing hard to get, and their price tags show it. If you're into a bit of a mixed metal vibe, the black dial model with steel and gold is your ticket to cool, clocking in at about $23,750. It's like getting the best of both worlds without the sticker shock. And for those rocking the Oysterflex bracelets, these Daytonas are holding onto their value like they're glued to the podium, often outshining some of the flashier metal contenders. Not to be outdone, the old-school 116 series, featuring stars like the White Gold Ghost and Yellow Gold Pikachu, are still fan favorites. With the Ghost, proving you don't need to break the bank to disappear into the night with a stylish steel. Take a moment, why not join the opulent Oasis community by subscribing? Stay updated with our latest content. Now back to our chat. Number 3. Rolex Datejust 41. Now dialing over to the Datejust 41, it's keeping things minty fresh with its Mint and Wimbledon dials, still available brand new and ready to wear. For the two-tone aficionados, there's a bargain alert. Some models are dipping below their list prices, which means decking out in steel and gold 
just got less spendy. Meanwhile, the classic steel models with white or black dials are like the reliable jeans of the watch world, always in style, never overdone, and surprisingly affordable. They don't shout for attention, yet they manage to turn heads with their sleek, understated elegance. Perfect for anyone who appreciates luxury that's as practical as it is polished. Number 4. Rolex Explorer. Let's unpack the world of the Rolex Explorer, starting with the Explorer one, particularly the 40mm model. It's not just catching up to its retail price, it's practically doing a victory lap due to its rocketing popularity. Now size does matter here. While the vintage aficionados hold torches for the 36mm singing praises of its classic allure, the 40mm version is stealing the spotlight and the wallet, heavier on both size and price. Shifting over to the Explorer 2, the timing couldn't be better to consider this one. It's on the shelf at authorized dealers, no premium tagged on. Dial-wise, white is the hero, clearly outshining the black. If instant gratification is your thing, rejoice, because there's no waiting list to wrestle with. Number 5. Rolex Oyster Perpetual. On to the Rolex Oyster Perpetual, where the name of the game is personal flair, especially if your flair is green. This model is a favorite among the Rolex collecting elite, who apparently like to occasionally stray from the beaten path of traditionalism for a walk on the vibrant side. Meanwhile, the celebration dial, priced snugly between $9,100 and $9,200, is playing hard to get not quite capturing hearts despite its festive moniker. Scoring an Oyster Perpetual at an authorized dealer is like finding a four-leaf clover, challenging but not impossible, especially if you sidestep the celebration dial. If you're not one for waiting games, dipping into the secondary market could be your fast pass. Remember, even Rolex's underdogs have their day, and keeping an eye on the chillier corners of the market could net you a cool deal on a hot watch. After all, every Rolex tells a story, but the best bargains tell the most interesting ones. Number 6. Rolex Rose Gold Day Date 40 So, let's dive into the chic waters of the Rolex Rose Gold Day Date 40. The one with the olive dial? Still in the game and cozying up to its retail price like a pro. If you've had your eye on it, now might be the time to pull the trigger before it realizes it's too cool for school and hikes its price back up. On another note, the yellow gold model with the green dial is the bell of the ball leading the popularity contest. Priced at around $45,000, it's still playing hard to get over its $33,800 retail price, but it's gently heading towards what we might call maybe just one kidney territory. And don't overlook the classy contender with the champagne dial and Roman numerals. It's like the James Bond of watches, not always in the spotlight, but undeniably suave and valued for its timeless sophistication. If your style leans towards understated luxury, this is your wrist's new best friend. Now let's switch our gaze to some other Rolex models that have been keeping their cool with stable prices. Enter the Rolex Submariner Saga. The date version is currently the hot favorite, pulling more looks than the no-date sibling. While the no-date variant wins over purists with its clean lines, the date version is like that practical friend who always brings snacks just more useful. Then there's the elusive Starbucks model, which is about as rare as a polite online comment section and just as sought after. For those who lean towards a bit of color, the steel and gold submariners in blue and black are now dipping below their $13,750 list price, with the blue subtly outdoing the black. It's a good time to dive into these deals. After all, who doesn't love a good splash for less cash? What's your take on the topic we just unpacked in our video? If it struck a chord, how about showing some love with a comment and a thumbs up? And if you haven't already, hit that follow button to keep the good stuff coming. Thanks for hanging out with us at Opulent Oasis. Stick around, there's plenty more where that came from. And we promise, the next one's a gem too.